Okay, now we all know popcorn isn't a traditional Thanksgiving dish, or is it? What was your name again? Katie. Right, Katie. Did you ever hear any rumors about the Native Americans trading decorative popcorn with the pilgrims in that first simple yet hearty Thanksgiving feast? No, I don't think that ever happened. And didn't an offended Miles Standish then throw that popcorn into the fire, simultaneously creating popcorn as we know it and making the first Thanksgiving mess that someone else would have to clean up? Joel, are you really trying to convince everyone there's a connection between popcorn and Thanksgiving just to justify us sitting in this theater? Maybe, I guess. Um, anyway, if you're just tuning in, we're halfway through this year's Turkey Day Marathon, and we're also halfway through our Kickstarter campaign. Already more than 20,000 MST3K fans have joined us to raise the money we need to bring MST3K back for a new generation. And you know, the best thing about our Kickstarter has been hearing from so many fans. Before MST3K was canceled way back in 1999, one of our favorite things on the show was to share some of the wonderful fan letters we got from people like you. Since we haven't had a chance to do that in, oh, I don't know, two decades, I thought maybe we could share a few new fan letters with you now. Mind if we trade? All right, thanks. All right, Kamba, let's put this up on Still Store. This is from Ethan Tinsley, and he says, hi. My name is Ethan Tinsley. I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. I'm eight years old. I'm happy your show is back. Crow is my favorite host because he is so sarcastic. Does he ever hurt your feelings? Well, Ethan, no, he doesn't because uh, we have an understanding. Uh, this next one is from Ian and Sarah. And uh, let's put that up on Still Store Cambot. Awesome. And they write, Dear Joel Crow, Tom, Gypsy, Cambot, Magic Voice, we are deeply thankful for Mystery Science Theater 3000 because without it, we might not be married today. MST3K was just two years old, barely out of its nest at KTMA, and we were a pair of shy, awkward high school seniors when we met in 1990. So shy, in fact, that despite how much we obviously liked each other, two years passed before we went on our own first real date in 1992 a live showing of MST3K at the Uptown Theater, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Our shared love of MST3K overcame all obstacles. One of us still has the ticket stub from that day, as you can see in the attached photo. 22 years later, we were married. With gratitude and love, Ian and Sarah. Wow, thank you so much. And now we got way more letters this month than we can read today, but you can see more of them online. Kamba, can we see a clip of one of those old letters from way back when? All right. Well, you know what? Listen, I got an idea. I've got a really cute letter here that we can read, and then uh, it'll cheer us all up. So let's put that on Still Store, Kamba, and put the other side on Still Store. Good. Okay. This one says, uh, Dear MST3000, my name is Ashley Holtgraver, and I love your show, and in the last few days I've been noticing how much little sister and crow look alike. Here is a picture. Well, nice. Even though Crow is better looking, they sound the same. My brother is slowly turning into Tom Serbo. Oh, wow. Here is another picture. Oh, I neat. want to know if you are cloning. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, that's really nice, Ashley. Thanks a lot. I, I, I feel better. Yeah, <laughs> see, we made it through, Mads. Yeah, throw us your worst yeah. swill. We can handle it. Wow, that was 22 years ago, and we've got a surprise for you because eight-year-old Ashley is with us today, and she's all grown up. Hi, Ashley. Hi. Welcome. Happy <laughs> Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Wow, it's so amazing that you're here. Thanks for coming. Thank you for having me. And this is Katie. <laughs> Hi, Katie. we got to hear the story here. So um, you were eight years old. We read that letter on Mystery Science Theater. Can you take us through it and tell us about it? Sure, yeah, um, I'd be happy to. I was, uh, I was a huge fan of MST. Um, I loved the bots, and I think I just had um, like a hardwired enjoyment of corny sci-fi. And so I wrote you guys a letter. And I remember coming home from school, I think it was third grade, and um, you know, just having a letter is pretty unusual in the mail when you're eight. Uh, but, you know, then it was from you guys and I read it and uh, I remember um, running up and down the stairs many times, like for a couple of minutes, because that was the only way I could uh, express the excitement. Wow. And then I had a moment where I was like, oh no, like 
there's no way for me to watch this because we were uh, the receivers of circulated tapes. So <laughs> we were just dependent on some <laughs> shadowy figure in my dad's work. Um, I remember like it being Thanksgiving and me like looking out the window, like Fievel style, like someday I'll watch you, Mystery Science Theater. <laughs> but then he came through for us and um, yeah. Wait, how did you end up seeing it though? So yeah, so he, um, my dad's work friend, got us the VHS. Uh, you know, he always got us the goods, and I remember popping it in, and it was just unreal. Like having my little drawings on there, and just having you even say my name. It's like <laughs> I just felt connected to this bigger thing. Um, <laughs> it was just like the coolest thing. Wow. Well, we're so grateful you made it out to come and be with us for Thanksgiving, and also. We have to talk a little bit about your professional life, what you do now. I mean, for like the last 10 years, you've been in a pretty famous band, Freeze Pop, right? Well, yeah. And Freeze Pop had a lot of songs on like, was it a video game, right? Yeah, um, Rock Band and Guitar Hero. Yeah, so um, they're famous for that. You guys played a bunch of shows, put out a bunch of records, mm -hmm. and now you're like work at a design firm, is that right? That's right, What's yeah. What's the name of it? Uh, I work at a company called IDEO. Uh, I'm a software designer there. Wow, congratulations. It's wonderful. <laughs> Thank you so Here, much. It, see it all worked out, you know? <laughs> But anyway, thanks so much for joining us. I hope you'll come back and uh, come uh, hang out later in the, in the day when we're here around Kickstarter. That was pretty impressive, wasn't it? It was. <laughs> anyway, I'm glad you could be here, too. We'll be back in just a minute. Ah! Stop doing that! We still have so many questions. Like, why is Servo's voice so weird? I get it. You still have a bunch of questions. But have you guys even, like, read the Kickstarter page? It covers a lot of this stuff. That's it? He's gone? What a rip! Ah! Listen, I was just messing with you. I was back there checking the Kickstarter, which is going great, thanks to our fans. But since I'm here, I guess I can answer a couple more questions. Technical question here. Crow T Robot Television. It's been a good 15 years since the show was on. Any high-tech innovations we should know about? Well, great question. For the most part, MST will always be made the way it's always been going all the way back to when it started 27 years ago with good, natural, practical effects recorded in real time with very little post-processing added. Mmm, sounds delicious. Is he talking about bread? And since TVs and smartphone screens are wider, the new MST3K will be wider too. Check it out. Wow, he's a wizard. Yeah, well, there's a lot more to see and a lot more to riff on and more places to sit. Yeah, the new show's screen size will be one-third larger than the old shows. <laughs> yeah, this is huge. I think we've actually got an echo in here now. Echo! Echo. Okay, what movies are we gonna be riffing on? Well, the new films are a secret for now. Rats! Well, can you at least assure us they'll be as cheesy as ever? Oh, oh sure, that's easy. In high definition? Yeah, of course, I wouldn't make you watch any cheesy movies any other way. You know, this time I'm glad he's gone. Isn't it weird that when he leaves, we're not alive? We're alive right now. But are we? This is purgatory, right? Oh my goodness, you guys are so existential. I'm Jean-Paul sorry you brought this up. Nobody, bye. Is there an exit on the satellite alone? There's no exit. How'd the other guys get out of here? Open the hatch doors. All right, be right back. Welcome back, everyone. You know, sometimes Turkey Day forces you to make some tough decisions. For example, you've only got one plate. Are you going to eat the mashed potatoes with butter, the super mashed potatoes with sour cream, or the ultra mashed potatoes with cranberry horseradish relish? I hate making big decisions, so I've asked Natalie from Kickstarter to help me do a little taste test. So Natalie, before we get started, do you have any known food allergies? I don't think so. Uh-huh, good. And have there been any changes in your health history since your last visit? I don't think so, no. Uh, so I'm going to try all these potatoes. What's the difference between them? Um, well, it's kind of hard to explain. These type of things transcend rational thought, you know. Mm -hmm. You'll understand when you taste. So here, okay. try the regular mashed potatoes. Right. Good. Now here comes the super mashed potatoes with sour cream. Okay. And finally, the ultra mashed potatoes with cranberry horseradish. Mm. Relish. Okay. So you want to pick a favorite? No, no, I'm good. Can you pass that to me? Thanks. Sure. Oh, that's the gravy too. Oh. Thanks so much. 
Sure, on. Knock yourself out. Now, you may have noticed we've been alternating between my episodes and those hosted by the very talented Mike Nelson. But in the future, these marathons might get trickier because we'll also have brand new episodes featuring our third host, a very funny young comedian named Jonah Ray. So next Turkey Day, the films could be hosted by me, Mike, or Jonah. Oh, that's Jonah now. Check it out. Hey, Jonah, how's it going? How's your Thanksgiving? It's going great, Joel. All these classic MST3K episodes are making me inspired to try and start working on my hosting chops. Do you mind if I maybe introduce the next movie? Yeah, sure thing. Oh, and after he's done, you can check out bringbackmst3k.com, where even a small contribution can get you some great MST3K rewards. And more important, will help us make more new episodes featuring Jonah as host. Go ahead, Jonah. Thanks, Joel. Up next on Turkey Day Marathon 15 is a movie about some scientists that make a death ray but insist it should be only used for peaceful purposes, like peacefully setting a field on fire. But what happens is some criminals get a hold of it and want to use it for, now get this, death. Seems like if they just called it a peace ray, we wouldn't really have this problem. But then again, we wouldn't really have this amazing tasty morsel of a movie. So ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you, Danger Death Ray. Oh yeah. This guy's smooth, all right. Enjoy the movie. <laughs> 